Hey, YouTube Rando here. Uh, so I wanted to do a uh, full rundown on my EDC, what I'm carrying every day right now. Uh, now, I don't carry my EDC pouch anymore. I used to carry it everywhere. Uh, I haven't carried it in a while. I just use it as a truck bag now. So I still have my first aid kit, tool bag, all that stuff. It just stays in my truck. I don't carry it with me everywhere. Uh, I've kind of condensed it down to just this little pouch right here. I don't have my keys handy. There's my keys. Same as always. Got a Leatherman multi-tool. A little fire kit on there. All my safe keys and whatnot. These aren't my truck keys. I don't carry my, well, my bug out truck keys on there. But the other car key, uh, I keep separate because I don't want this dangling from my ignition. So, got a little bit on here. Not a whole lot. A little fire kit. And multi-tool if nothing else. Uh, and then this is my pouch. I've showed it before. We're not going to go into it too much. Writing rain notepad, IDs, credit cards, uh, backup knife. I actually have a knife down in here as well. I've got the uh, BG Scout, the Mini Gerber. And then I've got the BG Lite down in here with three spare batteries for it. Uh, I've got a rechargeable battery for the ED11 down in here. Uh, and then I have the charger. And then I have an extra battery for the ED11 inside the charger. Uh, pencil with a little bit of duct tape, a little bit of electrical tape on it, and a lighter that I threw a zip tie around, and then I keep my cord for my charger inside the pouch with this. Uh, and I think that's it. I don't think I carry the battery bank anymore. No. I took it out because it was getting too big. Plus, uh, this will work as a battery bank if I need it to. I can get a charge on my phone off one of those uh, 16340s. There's my little pocket pouch, uh, same phone, S7. You can see it's a little scratched up, a little beat up. I've put this uh, phone through the ringer. Um, I also carry an iPhone again, uh, just to use as a uh, backup phone. And because I got tired of my customers having my regular phone number, I uh, switched to an iPhone and switched the number on it. So now I just have two phone bills, but I have one for business and I have one for uh home so I can turn the iPhone off when I get home and I don't have to answer calls from customers. Uh, it's just cheaper to have a cell phone than it is to have a landline nowadays, especially if it's for a business. Uh, business landlines are uh, insanely priced around here. You pay a bunch of money for your phone line, so it's just cheaper to run a cell phone, so that's what I've always ran. Um, but I did change the number up and uh, now I carry two phones. Carry one for work, one for home. Let's see. Gun. Probably never going to change for a while anyway. XDS9. I carry it in the Blade Tech holster. Great little holster. I do carry a backup pistol still every now and again. Either the uh, double tap 9mm or I'll carry the little NAA 22 mag revolver. Uh, so every once in a while. Not often. Uh, I don't find myself carrying a backup pistol too often anymore. I just don't feel the need for it. I've got a main pistol and that's all I really need. Now this I don't carry in my pocket all the time just because it is heavy. Um, but I like to have a spare mag for my gun so it usually goes with me when I leave. Leave it in the truck, but it goes with me. And just like my truck bag, my truck's never far away from me so I can always make it to it. Uh, I just carry a little pouch. And it's good for when you go to the range. I keep some range rounds down in here as well. Anytime I go to the range to shoot a new gun, I have my EDC pistol with me. Uh, so now I just bring this with me and I'll have some rounds I can run through my EDC pistol after I'm finished testing or whatever. I always like to shoot my EDC gun. Uh, spare clip, spare mag, um, filled with uh, critical defense. Got some critical defense in here, some spare critical defense. And then I've got some uh, just some target rounds down in here that I can play with at the range or what have you. And yes, I keep a little silica packet down in all my ammo. I've always done that. People laugh at me because when I open something there's a silica packet, I take it out and throw it in my safe. Or in my ammo box or what have you. Now, this is probably the newest piece. The new blade. Oh yeah. That is just a beautiful blade, isn't it? That is the Spyderco Rubicon 2. I picked it up off the Fat Man. Uh, for dirt cheap and he gave me a great deal on it. Uh, he's got great price prices on all his knives anyways if you look 
uh, when he's doing a knife sale, you're getting at least a 10% discount. But if you look into it, it's more like a 20 to 30, 40% discount somewhere in there. So if you're looking for a good blade, a uh, good high-end blade from somebody, um, he buys them and resells them. Um, so 90% of them are brand new in the box, never been opened, never been used. He just opens them for the video. Uh, so go check them out if you get a chance to fat man. Uh, but that's a badass blade. I love this knife. I've been carrying it. And I do have a spare knife, a work knife down in here. The uh, Kershaw Scallion, that's what I use whenever I'm working or whatever. This is my pocket knife I use for, oh, I don't know, opening crawfish sacks or uh, what have you. I'm not going to do a whole lot of heavy-duty work on this knife. I love it too much. It's just too pretty. I don't want to mess it up. Uh, I might go get a uh, Spyderco Delica just to carry to beat on because uh, it's not super expensive but this is over a $200 knife so I really don't want to tear it up I'm gonna take care of it um, carbon fiber handles I love this is the first carbon fiber uh, knife I've ever had so and I've always mentioned on his carbon fiber blades I love them so when he came when this one came across his desk I had to have it uh, and he hooked me up with a great deal on it so I could actually afford it because if this knife would have been brand new it would have been two and a quarter somewhere in there and there's no way I would have ever been able to afford this blade. So, Fat Man rocks. This blade rocks. Uh, so that's pretty much my EDC. Oh, nope. Flashlight. Been carrying the uh, TN12. The Through Night 18650. Ultra bright. I love this little flashlight. It's just an awesome flashlight. Put it back on high. Uh, I love the memory on the button and everything. And also, I've been carrying this one off and on, just kind of testing it. It is the iPal, the Nebo iPal Protect, a little 50 lumen flashlight, but it's also a battery bank, and that's what I've been carrying it for is as a battery bank. Uh, I think that's also why I took the uh, credit card uh, battery bank out of here. This one will actually charge my phone up 100%. Uh, when it's right around 20% or something like that. So I get a better charge out of that little flashlight. Uh, so I have been carrying it off and on as well. And that looks like about it. I don't carry a Zippo anymore. Uh, I carry usually a little Bic lighter in my pocket. And then I've got the spare Bic down in here. That's all the fire stuff I have. I uh, don't find a whole need in the city for starting fires while I'm at work or whatnot. Or whatever, just at home. Uh, actually, we haven't even done a fire here this year. Uh, this winter which is unusual for us because usually we do a fire every weekend but it's been busy uh, so you know it is what it is uh, but I just wanted to come share with you guys what we're carrying right now uh, this probably isn't going to change for a while last EDC video I did was probably close to a year ago and about half of what I was carrying is what I'm still carrying so when I get a new piece of gear I like to test it out so of course I carry it like the Nebo but not on everything so um if we change it up again, we'll do an update and let you guys know. But for now, this is what we're going to be carrying for 2017 here on down the road. So that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, YouTube.